And that hog about to show up. You ain't got no way back to the crib. You a long way from the spot. Oh, he's about to go. Oh, snap. Oh, yep, I knew that was going to happen. Why did you not move out of the way? Wow. Wow. He about to be stuck under that, stuck under it in it for the whole night. Hey, what's going on? Sintel with the Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. Handsome Sintel. Hey, what's going on with you? <laughs> Uh, living life. <laughs> hey, I tell you what's going on. Atlanta, episode nine, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, for those of you that are just now uh, catching up, there's a link in the description so that you can catch up even better. I think that sure, makes sense. Sure. Yeah, sure. Hey, listen, I'm not even going to get into the weeds of this. Give us those give us those thumbs up. That's how the people know you are digging what we are giving you. And let's get started. All right. Tongue twister. I'm thinking hunting. Maybe. Uh, it could be the hunting of people. I hope not. You never can tell with They're back show. to the woods again. You notice that? Hey, I hear that mystical. Oh, target practice. Uh -huh. Dang, look at that. Yeah, but one out of four. <laughs> well, there's two. There's a little graze of the head up top, too. Sorry. Mystical in there? Mystical was just in the news, too. I think he's back in, back in prison. Go. Why does he have on his slides out there is the question. Slides and a semi-machine gun. A gun, a cell phone, and a speaker. Uh-oh, somebody's calling. Uh -oh. Dang. Everybody trying to reach him. Unknown four messages from Earn already. Oh, um, All right, get that ghetto boys rolling. Uh. Thanks, Ethan. Headline, I can't sleep. I'll toss some turn. Look, look, Atlanta's, Atlanta's all shot up. Yeah, Atlanta's mm -hmm. gone. Why in all that peacefulness did he choose to... Something's about to happen. <laughs> Something's always about to happen with this dude. Oh, with everybody. Remember, that's what we say. We have that anxiety. Yeah. Oh, an old tractor. Is he lost? Probably. I, I would assume this is probably like in his neighborhood or something. How serene is that? Right. Depending on how far in the back what he is. Well, at least we know he's trying to get away because he had all those missed calls and messages. Yeah, because he's doing that weird focus thing. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's his little stash house. So gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I like the country sounds. You heard that? Oh, the I rooster. love it. Yeah, the cicadas, yeah. the crickets, birds. Huh. Uh oh, some kind of animal? I don't know. What animal trying to bite the wood like that? Oh, Yo, he's definitely outside of the city. Look at him and his Escalade, though. Well, I mean, I've said it a million times. There's a difference between Atlanta and Georgia. Oh, I agree. Hold on. He's in Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, obviously he doesn't want to be recognized, but, you know, you also don't want to be, uh... Yeah, that is definitely, um, outside of the city perimeter. limits. Outside yeah. of the perimeter. <laughs> Ooh, look how he's looking at him. You see that? Mm-hmm. You gotta go safe zone, I do know. He's used to being looked look at. at. Look, look at the clock. Oh my gosh! You're just gonna order it on Amazon, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> we don't call mm. the police. Yeah, they just shoot. What is he doing that he would actually like? Um, want to go to that store. Well, some critter is messing up his shack. Oh, that's right. Shack. That's yeah. right. That's right. It was a critter, though. I was right. Yeah, it was a critter. That thing probably ain't working for 20 years. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't you need a key? Oh, it's oh. already in there. Need some gas. Transmission. That, thing, that engine probably need all kind of work. Yeah. <laughs> These back hoes ain't, ain't loyal. loyal. <laughs> I said, it's a boy. These back hoes ain't loyal. Thanks for coming out to my channel. 
I can't. Make sure you get that YouTube University. Give this video a thumbs up. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get down the and we're gonna change oil in this tractor. It's gonna come right on his face. You yep. know that. Make sure that all the wheels are secure. Cause I've done told you these backhoes ain't low. <laughs> I'm serious, dudes. I lost two uncles this way. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you don't want to be messing around under there and you don't know what you're doing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh mm -hmm. snap. See? That could have been his ass, Mr. Postman. That garlic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he cooking something up. He must be at his mama crib. He's hooking it up. I don't know what he's making, but what was that song? Critter or Urn probably coming to be like, why haven't you answered my calls? Oh, you hear it? Yeah. I heard it. <laughs> Excuse me. Would you go check it out? Hello. You know you can't call the police. No, nah, not out there. Something, baby, Atlanta. Hey. Boy, baby. Whatever's in there, you better squawk or chirp us. <laughs> Sing a fucking song with your little furry friends. <laughs> <laughs> least, oh, I was about to say, at least we know he has a semi-automatic. Yeah. Or machine gun. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's... I don't know the... I don't term. either. Dang, I something don't. big got in there. You think it's a bear? I don't know. Probably a raccoon or something. I would not want to go in there. Oh, God damn, man. Uh, what is, uh, he stepped in the droppings. Uh, uh, God damn. I don't know those droppings. Uh, uh, Do you? Yeah, I'm not They're a, like I'm not circular. A dropping specialist. Yeah, you don't, you don't <laughs> sniff and smell and taste and the, all that what, stuff. What do they call it? I think the term is scat. Mm hmm. There we go. That's exactly what it is. Oh, God. Cool. <laughs> Look at Clyde. Back one. Look at Clyde. <laughs> Clyde don't know. Okay. Yeah. So what I need, hog repellent or something? Oh, no, not as simple as that. Here, give me that. Let's see. Yeah. Feral hogs. Those are super dangerous. They oh, were did wet. they crumble in your hand? No. It was wet. Can you just tell me how to get rid of these damn things, please, man? I don't stand here all day talking to you about dookie and shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is you're growing. Now, I, I can't make it out from that photo, so what kind of crops are these? <laughs> Special. Oh, yeah, man. Lots yeah. Of, oh, they porn. love that stuff. They love us. Um, <laughs> Not okay. as much as they love Here's weed. What I do. <laughs> they run around some feral high, high hogs, <laughs> high on the hog. That fucker goes down. Mm -hmm. And then you move in close, headshot. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right. Mm. Uh, can I just poison it or something, man? <laughs> Mm. He doesn't believe it, does I don't he? I feel like he's talking about black people. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's before the, they kill him. Okay. The, under. <laughs> mm -hmm. the hogs. <laughs> that hog will kill him, though. That's the thing. Just outside of Houston, chewed her ass up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember the movie Snatch? Be Larry of a man with a with a hog farm. You're funny. No, nah, man. Yeah, it is. We're in bedtime story, animal. <laughs> He better watch a YouTube video on the feral hogs. That's what he needs to do. New healthy oil looks like here. And this is where it goes. This is where it goes. These back hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this, mama. Let's go. Come on. How bored are you? Come on, baby. Come on. Tractor worker. That's our back hoe. Well, some of it is more than that. I'm sure. Oh! Shit. oh! <laughs> Revitalize something old and forgotten. Or have control over something or fix something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's. I do that a lot. Just try to do something else rather than what it is. You know what I mean? In replace mm -hmm. of something. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck! oh, damn. He did a nosedive in there. That the... is disgusting. Always a problem, right? Always. <laughs> 
All right. Ooh, I could not touch that. Ooh, don't touch it with your hand. Don't touch it with your hand. Don't touch it with your hand. Ooh, don't touch it with your hand. Don't touch it. This is the sound. Oh, it's the sound. Oh. Is it how big is this motherfucker? <laughs> no, it's all on you. Nah, man. You can't uh, wipe it off. <laughs> make sure there's no babies down in there, too. Heebie jeebies. No rat babies. That ain't gonna stop no hog. You don't think so? Metal? Not when the rest of the door is wood. That's true. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just go in the side of the house. Like the well, side of the house. I'll watch right? out, man. You're gonna get up. <laughs> come up off this weed. <laughs> Living high on the hog. You know that's what I want to call this episode is high on the hog. I'm not mad at the at the attempt though. Me neither. He's trying to protect his stuff. I promise. <laughs> Where was this motherfucker? I wonder who's creepy is at. Like you said, I think it's probably his mom's or something. Or maybe I don't know. Come and get it. This is not gonna go well. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. This is about to be tragic. Oh. It's mama. I don't know, man. Sometimes people say like when lights flicker like that, it's like a spirit is passing by. Oh yeah, that's what I said. His mom. Ah oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Remember when we saw that one nature <laughs> show where they just took a dive off of the cliff? Little uh, penguins or something. Yep, yep, there it goes. Yep, that's it. That's the one. Yep, that is the one actually. No, don't he survive? No, he does not. He does not survive. Uh, that one does oh. not. Yeah, that one does not. Incredibly. It oh, okay, it that survived. one did. You were right. That one did. But many of them did not. No. <laughs> oh, here we go. That was symbolic in some way. You know that, right? <laughs> I, don't know that. I don't even know if that gun's enough. Jump scare. Mm, avenge my ass. Look at that. A hog said, thanks, dummy. <laughs> right? He's like, ooh, I don't have to break through this mm -mm. wood from my tree. Nails and mushrooms. Well, at least we got a half a turn. I like that Nino Brown. Remember he was talking about in the last episode, you know, Brown, and that's how the certain black men were raised because they didn't have fathers around. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that's that representation mm -hmm. for Paperboy. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Very well said. Got it. Yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> victory. Small yeah, victory. Baby! Oh, victory. That's what I'm talking about! All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, but you don't know if them gears work. Yeah, and what are you supposed to do with that? What is he? What is the goal? Well, he just wants <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Small victories. There is nothing like it. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like yeah, it. Yeah, that is a great feeling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right, the dirty. Lead? He, he got, got the lead. lead. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. It's about to tumble like this. He must have been in his head. Yeah. You see that big old cliff? Right? Oh, no, you're not going to mm, be able to do that. Don't look like that, my guy. <laughs> nah, bro. Always a hurdle. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be in front of it on the downside. I wouldn't either. Head. I wouldn't either. I don't, I don't understand that either. And that hog about to show up. You ain't got no way back to the crib. You a long way from the spot. Oh, he's about to go. Oh, snap. Oh, yep, I knew that was going to happen. Why did you not move out of the way? Wow. Wow. He about to be stuck under that, stuck under it in it for the whole night. I can't believe this. Uh, you know who gonna show up? Is his leg stuck under there? Probably. <laughs> oh, it is. <gasps> it is. Oh my gosh. Damn, he gonna have to like chew his gnaw his leg off or something. Ooh, I can feel, I can feel my stomach. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. oh the back of his oh, head. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
Damn. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Damn. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, at least he was able to get out. That's a good. Yeah, yeah, I think he was. Oh, oh, shit. I think he was. I think that was. Yeah, it. he still got to crawl back home though. He on the other side of the lake. Oh. Yeah, well, remember that house was over there. I don't oh. know who lives in that house. I'm curious. Might be Clyde and his kinfolk. Oh snap! Don't take that off. Why are you taking that off? Oh, why do we have to see that? I don't want to see that. Broken and lacerated, I bet. Oh, yeah, it's definitely got a laceration. Ugh. I just have... He's lucky, because he could have been stuck there. Yeah. And them hogs would have gone wild. Well, the hogs are still going to come after him, and yeah. he can't run. You know, animals can sense when, when prey's weak. And they smell blood. Mm. Mm hmm Long way from the crib. Yeah, and like I said, I don't even think is that that's his house. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't tell if that was his house or like somebody else's house. <sighs> oh wait, oh, who is that? Probably Clyde. Oh my God. Hey. Oh, with the uh, critter repellent or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh come on, bitch! I know you see me. Oh, hey. she did hey. order it from Amazon. Hey, oh, yeah. Help, help me! Oh, she's got her headphones on. Uh -huh. Yep, Amazon. So the Amazon smile. Hey! I'm a hog side. Hey! I know. Oh, yeah. Get him right? oh, hey! He's close though, right? Yeah. I mean, relatively speaking, <laughs> when you got a broken foot. It's all relative, yeah. right? Mm, mm, mm. What is that sound? You know, it's you out you outside, you gonna hear all kind of weird stuff. Probably some weird kind of frog. That's true. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, he made it to the door. Yeah, I was about to say that's amazing. The will <clears throat> survival. Uh when you get into survival mode. <sighs> you need no girl on a shirt all day. Well, dirty. you see the shirt it says been hustling, so obviously that's poignant. Mm. It's that represents something in that moment. I can see that. <laughs> What do you think? No, I think it's a poison. You think so? Yeah. A skill. I told you. That's he gonna beat the hell out of that feral hog with that thing. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna look, beat look, look, the You hear it? You hear the hog? I do. I hear uh, oinking. Oh, there it is. You see it? It's right there. There's more than one. There's more mm -hmm. than one. I mean, that dude said it was a pet. Oh, snap. There's at least three. <laughs> Oh, hell no. <laughs> you see their horns? I mean, their, uh, what do you call those? Tusks. Tusks. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Grab the skillet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Grab the skillet. Oh my gosh! Bite my leg. Oh my gosh! And there's more than one coming. Yep. I'm sure that other one is gonna come in a minute. Is he choking it? Oh. Is he choking it? That's not funny, but is he choking it? He's choking it. My man got his UFC on. Give that yes. skillet. Get the skillet. Oh my, oh my gosh! I got I got <laughs> Golly. I can't. I can't. I can't. Leg, leg kicking up. Yeah, I'm not laughing at the fact that, you know, you know, that an animal is being harmed. It's just the situation is just comical right now. Yeah, yeah jokes. Yeah, jokes about the hog until it got, until it got ran up on. Yeah. And here's the thing. There are more. I swear I saw at least two more. There was definitely one more. You better get up and get in the house. Mm -hmm. You hear his phone? His phone's mm -hmm. ringing. You're going to tell somebody where you at now, ain't Please? you? Please. Oh, it's in the house. Mm -hmm. Please make it to the phone. Well, I mean, you can still call, but. 
Oh my gosh. Woo. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You good? Mm -hmm. You better call 911. <laughs> All right, man. I I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Peace. Peace. <sighs> yeah, because how do you... <laughs> you don't You don't have the energy to explain that story. Nah, not that moment. No. You better call 911. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> no. You gotta... Look at the breast size. Silver lining. I wouldn't even know how... Oh! Look! Oh! Oh, you were right. I wouldn't even know how to make the bacon like that. I mean, I wouldn't know how to chop it up so it was like that. No, nah, that's not. I know, that's not that. Yeah, it's still up. funny, though. Yeah. How is he standing? Sheer willpower of hunger. No, I'm just saying how much time has passed because he's all. Probably on a bunch of painkillers. Oh, yeah, and he does have band-aids and stuff and bandages. Yeah. So I miss Oh, look at the hog. Look at the hog. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out with the rest of the rubbish. A beaky, bro. <laughs> Cheers, nigga. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Oh, man. Yeah. It's the farm life. <laughs> it's a farm life. You're over there by yourself, too, man. Something mm. happens to you. You fall on a rake head first. No one's going to know it for, like, weeks. Mm. Message received. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pins and needles and shit. God. You outside for a long time yesterday? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes. You ever been sunburned before? Yes. Nigga, look at me. Do I look like hell? No, I ain't been sunburned. Right. Black you people can't get. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. What's, an, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kiss from a Rose. He gets sunburned too. Seal. Yeah. Yes. Yes, seal can get dark niggas can get sunburned, bro. I don't know, man. All right, hold up. So you're coming from the dark person congregation? I've been sunburned. sunburned. Nigga, I would, who, who's going to be a pirate on the sea under the sun the whole day if they didn't get sunburned? I know it. this shit ain't true, man. It's just not don't true. I love how the conversation just keep moving, though. You remember the, uh, the killer? Who was going around killing anybody that made a TikTok oh, video? Oh, okay, about the soldier boy. Yeah, the soldier boy yeah, killer, yeah. Okay. And that's when uh, soldier boy told him, he was like, listen, man, I'm Get going to my safe, safe farm. farm. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> so that's where that connection was. Because the whole time, I know we were kind of like, I'm like, he had his mom, mama house, maybe? You know, I still think it house. may have been a family house of some sort. Could because be. Ern knew about the tractor and, yeah. you know what I mean? So he's like, you know that old tractor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the... This overall theme, the underlying theme on this, is the illusion of safety. Okay. Um, and that doesn't matter where you go. No matter where you go, there's going to be something. You're never really safe, you know, even if you go to the safe farm. Be it the people that's in the neighborhood because you saw the looks that he was given. Be it the wildlife that's right outside of your door. Mm. Um, you know, at any given time, you still mm -hmm. got to keep your head on a swivel. Um, I feel like that is a, a bit of an analogy for just blackness in general. Mm. It doesn't matter where you go. Mm -hmm. You know, you can try to find safety in your religion. You can try to find safety in your politics or what, what region of the country you live in or whatever it is. But you're never, ever really, truly safe. Okay. I could see that. Um, it's interesting because I had a very different perspective. Yeah, go for it. Let me um, hear it. No, I know. And I'm thinking how, excuse me, I'm thinking how this is going to. How I'm gonna word all of this okay because you know how it had like Atlanta in the beginning and it was like uh torn off on the tree like part of the word Atlanta yeah so it's kind of like I feel like it's his maybe his struggle to kind of figure out if he's gonna stay in Atlanta what Atlanta really represents for him okay um and his journey okay um and the fact that he you know went away from there to kind of try to feel uh, a sense of calmness and peace um, and the, the, he couldn't find that even there. It right. was like, you know, no, I still have obstacles and I still have things I have to overcome. And, you know, I'm still trying to fix things and, and um, you know, grow my weed. But even that's getting uh, <laughs> getting yeah. bombarded yeah. by something uh, <laughs> rather feral. Um, right. So I feel like, you know, he couldn't find his calm still, even though it was supposed to be like a safe farm. Well, yeah, I think he's still kind of like it kind of ties in what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I think like there's a piece of him that might be kind of like run from his blackness. Mm. Um, and you just can't, you know, I think you brought up something that was really poignant and it ties into the previous episode. And that was the Nino Brown shirt mm -hmm. because they said, uh, 
uh, the, the the two instances he gave was um, like what is it men on film men on books the old uh, yeah. in living men color on film. yeah right and it was talking about like black men were having like this battle with gauging masculinity right you either you didn't really know how to gauge it and that previous episode talked about what it means to be like in the middle in a mm -hmm. sense to be like a good father and just you know walk walk the, the righteous path per se maybe i don't know but anyways we see now that he's on the other side of of, of the middle and that's the nino brown side and mm -hmm. keeping it gangster and well we're, we're, at least that's what we're assuming based off the observation of him wearing like the like the nino brown shirt so I wonder if it does does this trope still hold true that you can't run and find safety if you're like on the other side? Let's just say you're like the 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 Cliff Huxtable. Mm -hmm. uh, you were brought up in the Cliff Huxtable kind of way, like the Cosby Show. Um, or do you need a safe farm, or have you created like a safe farm in your own head? Like, how does that how does that work? Because if you're it, like, I guess I'm trying to figure out like why he needs to run if is it because of the way of his upbringing because of that nino brownish kind of upbringing or is there something else is it just the music i think it's yeah i think it's honestly i feel like a lot of this season is about personal growth okay personal journey um kind of like reevaluating where you are okay um and the things that make you who you are and do they still resonate with you where you are now, right? Okay. So I feel that way even when, you know, um, Earn and Van were talking about their relationship and, you know, dealing with all of that, right? Right, right. Um, personal growth um, um, as you're aging. So, you know, Paperboy is aging. They, they talk about, they've talked about a lot of death um, mm. in, in this season and growth in general. So I feel like it's more so that aspect. Um, and I know that him being, you know, I'm assuming he was raised without a father. So that was the connection with the Nino Brown. It was like, you know, which one did you, uh, which one resonated with you as someone on the screen when mm -hmm. you were growing up? Like, who did you lean more towards? And obviously for him, it was Nino Brown. Right. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's an interesting, um, I think what could be an analogy in that is having his safe space invaded by by the hogs mm. and the white guy at the tackle bait Clyde. tackle shark Clyde was like <laughs> you know they're aggressive you know pretty much saying that you got to take them down you got to look them keep shooting uh he referenced some woman that was taken down by a by a uh, a herd of them per se to me it felt like he was like maybe saying like <laughs> yeah how maybe white people feel in as they're gentrifying something Mm. they're going into what they consider to be the wild to set up a safe space but yet black people like those hogs may be getting in the way of their peace and like maybe That's the best way maybe the best way to get around that is to take them down as quickly as you possibly can that's interesting i didn't see it that way okay i didn't see it that way that's so interesting i saw it more so like you know the hogs maybe referencing like pigs okay in terms of i and i'm not trying to be disrespectful okay. but i'm just talking about in terms of like the police right right um okay that's that's interesting too yeah so uh -huh. the police kind of invading his safe farm i think both can exist i think so too yeah 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 it feels like uh it feels like reverse gentrification mm -hmm. i hate to say our places in urban environments because that is not mm -hmm. that is not the case it's at not. all but oh, how about this not our place as a people but his place just him specifically is a city he's a city boy Oh, you're talking about Paperboy. Yeah, just Paperboy himself. So he's leaving his space of familiarity, of being familiar, and, and invading somebody else's space per se, hence the looks and all that other stuff. I don't, uh, does that okay. make? Does that no, make sense? No, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, how do you? How would you feel about him making it work, though? And I mean by making it work by making the tractor work. Yeah, it was one of those things. Like I said, I feel like um, when you're going through things in life. Mm -hmm. Um, especially obstacles, small victories mean a lot. Yes, I agree with um, that. And figuring stuff out on your own sometimes means a lot to some people too. Okay. Um, so I feel like that was like a space where he could have a small victory and figure it out. Like, you know, YouTubing how to fix this tractor and, you know, um, just seeing it through to the end and being like, oh my gosh, I did this right. on my own without anybody else's help. And then what that feels like to just be able to enjoy it for a moment yeah. 
<laughs> no, I just feel, for a slight moment. I, feel, I think you're really hitting on something on that because he's had like the city manage his life from being a child born in Atlanta. Then he's had his career managed by his best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the, the episode when his auntie is raising hell because she's trying to find uh, her father. Mm. It seems like, you know, his family life has been managed as well, you know, by, by people that are really aggressive uh, or or well, people that, that wants to be. That was Ern's aunt. Ern's aunt. Well, yeah. they're both cousins. Oh, okay. so, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think I think you're on to something like this is a space that he can manage. Yeah. And I think and I think that's even more reinforced by the simple fact that he didn't want to tell anybody about his problems. Because yeah. he doesn't want to be saved. Well, he doesn't want anybody yeah, to take control. Yeah. You know, he wants to be in control of his space yeah. for a moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And deal with the problems as they come. Yeah. Like you said, without having Earn or somebody step in and being like, and even at the end when they had the conversation, yeah. Earn was like, yo, the contract is there. You got it done. You know, look yeah. at it. And then so it's again back yeah. to that. But at that point, I think he was like, okay, you know, have a little bit of help ain't bad every yeah. now and then. You know, I can deal, <laughs> you know, I can survive and, mm. and uh, whatever crime crawl bear crawl yeah uh you know it, when i need to yeah. but it sure is nice to have you know somebody to joke with and clown with on on the journey right yeah it reminded me him trying to get back to his home mm -hmm. um you know doing the whole like mm -hmm. soldiers crawled into mm -hmm. the dirt they reminded me of uh, there was a spider-man movie where uh spider-man peter parker has a building fall on top of him and even though he's really strong and he's capable of taking care of himself he's in a space where nobody can help him and he's mm -hmm. screaming out help mm -hmm. somebody please help me and then he has this moment where he's like, nobody is coming. Mm -hmm. And I think Paperboy kind of had like that same, that same oh, thing. Yeah. He was like, nobody's coming. Yeah. I have to do this on my own. Yeah. I think, you know, here's the thing for me. I think that whatever it is that you want to achieve, be it success, peace of mind, love, whatever it is, you're going to be tested. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something that's going to come up to, to see how bad do you want this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like those hogs were like that test mm -hmm. and him not getting any help. You know, and then, you know, because the, the, only, the only other option is death. Yeah. You know, he was literally fighting for his life. He was mm -hmm. literally fighting for his life for his peace, mm -hmm. you know. But I think, um, to, oh, let me, before I go no, off. Go ahead. No, go, ahead. No, go ahead. I think the part of this that kind of warms my heart is the conversation. His boy calls him. Like, he checks up on him. He's like, yeah, I got some small things that kind of need to be done. He checks up on him. He sees he's all right. Paperboy is like, yeah, man, I'm good. And, you know, and then the, the conversation just carries on, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that many of us, especially coming out of this time of pandemic, many of us have gone like on our own, like separate paths and mm -hmm. trying to figure out ways to, to, to keep pushing forward, mm -hmm. be, it your, be it your career or your family or your love life or mm -hmm. whatever it is. And all of us have battles. All of us. There's mm -hmm. not a single person on this planet that's not battling something. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just don't want to get bogged down in that with the, with your people or another safe space. Mm -hmm. Ern is his cousin that he loves mm -hmm. and he's in and is in some way, shape, and form a safe space. Mm -hmm. So he's not gonna ruin that safe space but I'm like, man, I got attacked by these hogs, my leg is all busted up, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm like like none of that, my weed is all gone, you know. Instead it was just like, no, you know, I'm doing good. Because he is in control. I think that was the other thing. Mm. And the conversation just kind of like just keeps moving. You know, the thing that's most important and that's connecting with his cousin, his friend and, and you know, going on about about your life. There's something about that that was like really pleasant for me. Um, and see, for me, I thought I think it's interesting because we've, we've discovered and realized that obviously he doesn't want Earn to fix anything for him right. because he's already taken care of everything himself. Right. But I don't know. I find comfort. Uh, and being able to share those type of things okay. with people, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I had all of that stuff happen to me, yeah. I would want to share with somebody. Okay. I and mean, I know that everybody is different and yeah. everybody, you know, um, shares their emotions or things that happen to them in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm curious to see. I mean, and I know that I really do think that that's why he didn't was because of the, you know, wanting to be in control and realizing that he's, you know, completely capable yeah. of, of dealing with whatever comes. Yeah. Okay. I think that's actually a good place to kind of like stick a pin in this. Uh, it's kind of bittersweet. Yeah. I feel like, I, I know we always, we've said this a million times when it comes to this show, you always expect something just out of, out of left field mm -hmm. to come and hit you. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I was betting on, I was like, well, the second last episode is probably going to be the craziest mm -hmm. because there's normally something super crazy. And then the last episode is like the resolve and mm -hmm. tying up the loose ends and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And we definitely had, we just have this foreboding feeling of death being around the corner, everything from the ATL so sign on this episode being shot yep. up to the last, not the last episode, the episode when, when, um, 
Ern and Van were camping. Ern and Van were camping, mm-hmm. and the storm was coming, mm-hmm. and it's like this weird, like foreboding yeah. is kind of coming. Yeah. And yet we're still, you know, we're still carrying on with life. Right? Yeah, and I don't we're know still, what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna you know, happen because we have one left, and I'm gonna be so. I'm happy to see it and excited and anxious yeah. at the same time because I'm I'm sad that it's going to be ending. Yeah. But I'm just so curious <laughs> what is about and what does to that look like? Because I think we've enjoyed and loved these characters to yeah. a point that, you know, we want them to kind of be all good. I do. Yeah. I absolutely do. But it's like, you just don't know. I you want just... them all to be skipping <laughs> off into the sunset, holding hands. Yeah, well, we'll see. But one thing you can know for sure, and that is how to subscribe to this channel. And of course, give us those thumbs up. If you've been enjoying this conversation, you know, that's how we do. We just chop it up. And of course, if you want to get to know Michael Claire a little bit better. Oh, snooty vegans. Yep. Vegan lifestyle. Mm. Block journey. Mm-hmm. Life as you know it. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Link in the description. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Woo, woo. Hey, and we got some great news. Uh, we scheduled an interview with one of the actors of uh the atlanta series uh, we are absolutely excited and looking forward to sharing it with you it should be out before uh the season finale so please make sure you uh, hit that bell icon so that you can get the notification uh, whenever it comes out and uh we will catch you on that one all right